This is problem number one in test number two review. A positive ion is missing one electron. Um, a positive ion missing one electron is found moving at a velocity of two times 10 to the fifth meters per second parallel to a wire. Let's see, let's put the pin on here. That velocity parallel to a wire that has 40 amps showing in as shown. Use the right hand rule to identify the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. Um, the field around the wire. If we look at the wire here, um, whenever there's current moving through a wire, there's a magnetic field around it. Um, we use the right hand rule. Uh, this would be the second rule, or the curl rule. So if the current is going down, the magnetic field wraps itself around the wire. So we'll show that the field goes around that way and around from behind that way. And if you go further away from the wire, the magnetic field becomes weaker. So we've got the directions of the field going around. Okay, that's the second right-hand rule. On your equation sheet, you'll find uh, a relationship between magnetic field strength and current and distance from the wire right there. B equals mu naught I over 2 pi R. And if you work that out, magnetic field at the position over here where that moving charge is, that distance away, this distance here, that being that 0 0.025 meters, that magnetic field strength ends up being, let's just work it out, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times the current flow that was 40 amps all over 2 pi times r.025 meters. So that gives a magnetic field strength at that position away of, that's pretty small, 0 0.00032 teslas. Okay, that's a small field strength. All right, uh, question A. Use a right-hand rule to identify the direction of the field. All right, check, we've done that. Uh, B, since the positive ion is moving in the wire's magnetic field, which way will it be deflected? Uh, use a right-hand rule. Uh, we learned that whenever there's a moving charge in an external field, it will experience um, a net force. Uh, it will deflect. So this would be the first right-hand rule. Um, or we take our right hand and uh, the fingers represent the direction of the magnetic field. The thumb represents the direction of the moving positive charge, conventional charge. And out of the palm represents the force. So if a charge is moving this way with the field up, it's going to experience a force in that direction. So for this, right there at that moving charge, we know that the magnetic field strength right there is going into the page. So let's draw an X right there. The field is into the page. Remember that field wraps itself around and at that position the field is into the page and the charge is moving down. So it's moving into the page like that. Um, uh, from the video this may be hard to uh, illustrate. Let's see. Fields into the page. To you it looks like it's kind of coming out right there. Um, so maybe I put my hand like that. It's into the page and it's moving down so it's going to experience a force at the right hand rule. So anyway, for that right hand rule. One, two, three, four fingers and a thumb right there. This represents the velocity, that direction. This represents the field, that direction, the fingers. And out of the palm right there, the force, F is out of the palm. So that is our first right hand rule. Remember the, the palm is facing you like this. All right. Palm is facing the forces out of the palm right there. So for this one, I'm going to put my fingers into the page, thumb down, into the page, thumb down, and so I see that it's going to be forced inwards. And so this is going to experience a net force inwards, a magnetic force inwards. So that would be the deflection. All right, which will be deflected? 
into the page. C. Find the magnetic force on the charge. We know the magnetic field strength right there. The magnetic force is FB equals QVB. And so we take the charge. The magnitude of the charge is a positive ion missing one electron. So it's got a net charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Remember, if you pull one electron off, it's got a little bit more positive charge and negative charge. The velocity, it is moving at 2 times 10 to the 5th meters per second. And the field strength was very weak, 0 0.00032 Tesla. So that gives us a net force of magnitude 1.024 times 10 to the minus 17 Newtons. All right. Okay. Very good.